we doing? Welcome to Good Works Tractors. Using the mulcher today on the skid steer, we have a new fence going and you can see the fence posts we have up all around. The north side of our building has some heavier cover and we gotta get that stuff out of the way so that the fence posts can get in there, get put where we want them to. We wanna have the whole building encompassed in this security fence that we have going up. And they're coming back Monday to set posts so we gotta get it done this weekend. Hoping it goes smooth today. So far the day has not gone smoothly, but we're hoping to turn things around for you guys in this video. We've shown you guys these mulchers before. These things are absolutely incredible. They are amazing tools. You can get them for skid steers. You can get them for tractors too. For the three point hitch, you can't mount one to a front end loader, not enough hydraulic flow. Got to run off that rear PTO, but these things vaporize material. They are incredible. It's like a brush hog on like mega steroids and then some. So because of all the different variables that come into play, these are not a stocking item, but these are made to order and we can ship it right to you. So reach out, go to our website, check it out, Good Works Tractors for more information. But we do stock a ton of stuff. This is our, our new warehouse, 20,000 square foot warehouse, have a lot of racking done. Gonna be doing asphalt millings on the outside to expand the parking lot for more storage space as well. Obviously the security fence going up too. So things are going really well. So we'd love to help you out again. We pack and ship stuff every day of the week all over the country for your loader, for your three point hitch. All right, well I have a hard deadline, so let's get to work. So this thing is just leaking oil. I had all these fittings replaced because they were leaking previously and they're still leaking. And it's just like, I, if it was a minor drip, I could probably knock this project out, but it's like a stream just shooting down the whole time. I'm, I'm losing a lot of fluid. I'm gonna lose it quickly. So I don't know, I'm gonna double check, make sure there's no debris or anything on there. I don't know what else to do with this fitting.
are proud to be sponsored by RimGuard Solutions, a ballast weight solution for your tractor. You know I'm all about safety and this is just a perfect match. Liquid ballast is one of the most cost effective solutions. It's hidden, it's out of the way, it gives you that extra stability you need when you're using the front end loader. It gives you safety to keep those rear wheels planted on the ground and it gives you traction when you need it. Well why RimGuard? It is a natural product that is going to be safe around animals and livestock in case you get a puncture and it leaks out. That means it's also going to be safe on your wheels as well. You know the old calcium chloride that will rust those things out and ruin them. It is also the heaviest natural ballast weight on the market today and the most convenient which is available at over a thousand dealers nationwide. So head on over to RimGuardSolutions.com to find a dealer near you. Well, we were in the thick stuff there and uh, had our, our camera set up on, on the boom here, on the skid steer, and uh, turns out that got mulched up somewhere along the way, so we're not gonna have any audio while we were mulching today, unfortunately, but we did get the job done in the nick of time before we ran out of hydraulic oil. We just got the last oil leak fixed on the John Deere. Now we have another leak. And so time was of the essence to get this job done today. So it wasn't a big job we had to do today, but this is kind of an area that the mulcher really excels and you know the most annoying thing about this is the whole time I am racing because I can see the leak did improve a little bit but it, it's leaking oil there and uh, <laughs> you know I need to get this done I have to get this fence in it's been a nightmare to get contractors to do anything I can't have this delay happen I got to get it done so I'm kind of rushing through this and that's probably one of the reasons we lost this camera is because I'm just kind of flying around and honestly not paying as close of attention as I should be. So get in underneath those trees a little bit, not a problem at all there. I had to go all the way down the lane behind the backside, decided to just mulch up those dead branches that got trimmed back uh, in the early spring or late winter. Then got us all the way back to where the propane tank is sitting out there and there's gonna be a handful of trees that gotta get uh, chainsawed down or just uh, zip down there real quick. Just, just some saplings, nothing crazy right around that um, propane tank. So then the far west side running north to south in front of those pines and spruces had to get done and there's a few trees along the way I love taking down the tree whenever I can with this thing so first took down an odd mile and that just vaporized that thing in the blink of an eye and then really I could uh, I felt like I was pushing my luck so I just wanted to race get down get the corners all uh, trimmed up that way they could get what they need to get for the setting, setting fence posts was able to cut back some other bushes there with some red berries. I'm not sure what kind of bush that was to be honest. And then a couple other scrubby trees out here in the middle too. Even tackled an extra pile of pine boughs that were taken down earlier this spring too. So Chris and I met up at 7 a.m. this morning. Had the skid steer in one location, the mulcher at another location, and the job site at another location. All right, so three locations. And as, as it normally goes for us, well, we started at 7. We got out here with everything at 2 o'clock. <laughs> Seven hours later? That, that doesn't make any sense, but that's how long it took uh, to get this set up. So then it was extremely disappointing to have this oil leak on here. And this job in total was 20 minutes, maybe 15 minutes if I wasn't uh, on camera, you know. So with the camera, it took us almost an hour to get things set up and situated and, and this and that and the other thing. But a very small, very easy job, but it's the kind of thing where I've built huge trails all throughout my property with this thing, you know, mulch down overgrown areas. You can tackle the trim lines, the, the edges if you need to, and knock those back as well. So it's so handy if you have a large acreage or multiple parcels, or maybe you're a contractor too, or landscaper, and you want to have another item in your portfolio. This thing is just nasty. It just works. And if you can get a skid steer to operate properly, then you're, you're in the money. But we happen to have a couple other Balmolite products out here right now. Uh, we've got a three-point mulcher. It's in the crate, but I want to at least let you lay eyeballs on that so you can see that too. And then also we have a Balmolite generator. So it's going to be just a pull type, runs off the PTO. So if you need something in a pinch or you're out in the field or you want something for your house that's reliable or a cabin or whatever it might be, your hunting camp, this kind of thing could really come in handy. I'll show you that now. So this is going to be the Balmolite. This is a model TX12. They have a lot of different models of generators, two pole, four pole. I am not a, a power expert, all right? But 
Bombalite has an amazing tool on their website. So you can go right to their website and you can do a power calculator to determine what you need to operate um, or to get the right size generator to operate what you need, I should say. So that's what I would suggest you do is go to their website and help them or let them help you select what generator you need to work on your, uh, in your situation, work with your tractor, that kind of thing. But this is a look, this is how they ship. This is two of them, right? So they're stacked up. So a nice compact little unit really and again super handy in a pinch i bought one of these to have out at our property on the other side of town we have no power no nothing out there at all right now so i figured if i need something in a pinch it would be great to have a unit like this on site and let me get a better feel a better understanding of what it's all about and as you can see we're really filling up the warehouse got all sorts of stuff a lot of the racking done it's looking good the tillers the grapples the uh, uh, quick hitches the chippers weights the Thatchers, the list goes on and on. This is just one of the bays, the other bigger bays on the other side, but all sorts of stuff. So if you need something for your tractor, chances are we can help, goodworkstractors.com. All right, so not an amazing look, but you can see what this looks like when it comes in. This is the, the three-point version, all right? This is the model MP360, I think. Uh, yeah, MP360, so this is the most popular size that we sell for the three-point, for the, the tractors, the three-point PTO-driven uh, mulchers but this is going to be a unit that you see this is how it comes in from the factory so it's one of those things you do want to plan ahead if you're going to order them we don't stock their items so they are made to order but lead times haven't been terrible you know again around that two months but if you're interested just send me a note i can pretty easily check and actually i think so can you guys too right on their website the current lead times all righty folks well thanks for sticking around i do appreciate it i hope you enjoyed today's video Again, we're, we're coming along here at the shop, at the new place. We, we just moved in a few months ago, so a lot of fixing up to do, but it's, it's turned out to be a really great situation. I love it, the crew loves it, so it's working out well. So we'd love to have you tag along. Hit that subscribe button right down below, completely free. You just kind of get to see the journey as we go along on it. And if you're looking for something for your tractor, or your skid steer too, head on over to goodworkstractors.com. Again, we do sell and ship all over the country. I want to thank you for taking time out of your day to stop by, and until next time, stay safe. We'll see you soon.